Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, we all know that family court, paternity court, child support court, even crim criminal court is a joke, right? It's biased against men. Men always get screwed. This is how it works, all right? And guys, we have a case here, back in the courtroom, of a mom who owes her kid's dad seven years of child support and doesn't get any jail time or anything. Yes, guys, you heard that right. Now, we know that that if that was a guy, he'd be buried under the jail. So guys, we're gonna get into this, but before we do guys, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment, it really helps keep this channel going guys. I go live Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so guys, be, feel, be free to join the lives. And guys, check out Looking at Legal Stuff, and there's another one, Court Archives. They post a lot of these child support family court Zoom calls. So yeah guys, let's just jump into this. Look at that. Today we have a child support case hearing with a woman who owes so and so much in the that adds up to seven years worth of payments. She says that she doesn't work because she's a stay-at-home mom for three kids. Clown world. And this person right here, this this Leia fight, that's the baby mama, and then Michael Talmaj is the dad. And let's see what this Judge Web Webster has to say. Then it's in the interest of the District Court of Tyler County, Texas. Then it's in the interest of Ace Talmadge. Mr. Michael Talmadge and Miss Leah mm -hmm. Fight, please raise your right hands. Do you both solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, yes sir. Thank you both. You can both put your hands down. Who's handling this case for state? I am, Your Honor. All right. This appears just to be a, a motion to confirm child support arrears. That's correct. Your case has been called. You can call your first witness. Thank you. Um, I would ask the court to take judicial notice of the prior order in this case. The court will take <clears> judicial <throat> notice of its own file. Okay. And this time the state will call Mr. Talmadge. Mr. Talmadge, would you state your full name for the court's record, please? Michael William Talmadge. And do you have any safety concerns with your personal information being in today's court order? Uh, no. Okay. And are you the father of Ace Talmadge? Yes. How old is Ace? He is 12. Okay. And there is a prior order in your case where Ms. Fight is supposed to pay you $224 a month in child support. Uh, does that sound correct? Yes, that is correct. Okay. At this time, the state will move for the admission of the pay record. From Facts. That's not a lot of money, right? I mean, there's plenty of jobs that you can, you can get to pay $200 a month, right? And look at this smug look on this woman's face, on the, on the kid's mom's face. And guys, this means that the father has custody. How much of a piece of trash mother do you have to be to actually have the father, have the court give, give the father custody, right? For Ms. Fight is State's Exhibit A. Mr. Talmadge, I've just placed on the screen a copy of the- thousand dollars guys i lied i thought it was twenty two thousand dollars i might have said that at the beginning guys she's twenty three thousand dollars in arrears <laughs> think about that for a second imagine if the genders were swapped twenty three thousand dollars she hasn't paid the pay record between you and miss fight is it okay if i look at this pay record yes sir same question, Miss Fight. Is it okay if I look at this pay record? Yes, sir. State Exhibit A is admitted into evidence. Wait, the pay record shows that Miss Fight is behind in child support by $23,488.43 as of June 30th. Do you want Miss Fight to pay the amounts that are owed to you? Uh, yes. Okay. And have you received any direct payments from Miss Fight? Of course not. Um, over the SM1 card, a uh, couple of payments. Okay. Have you received any that were not through the child support office? No. Okay. I will pass this witness. Call your next witness. I will call Miss Fight. Uh oh. Yes. Uh oh. Uh, Ms. Guys, guys, what sob story do you think that she's gonna uh, dream up here? She's gonna say. And guys, let let me know in the con comments if you guys have your <laughs> your violins out to hear her sob story, right? Please. Miss Fight, would you state your full name for the court's record? Leah Gale Fight. And are you the mother of Ace Talmadge? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, have you made any direct payments to Mr. Talmadge um, that were not uh, not through the child support office? No, ma'am. Of course not. I'll go ahead and pass this witness. Of course not. Probably your next witness. Uh, I have no further witnesses. All right. So the state's asking me to confirm the 23488 in child support. Is that correct, Ms. Simone? That is correct. Ms. Fye, are you working at this time? I am not. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, I have three children that are... Of course she's not working right now. Of course not. Do you think she'd actually have kids and be able to, like, work and afford them? Of course not, guys. Of course not. Four, five, and six. Okay. Um, two of them are in school and one is still home with me. Okay. Um, as, yes. So as I, I, I do want to apologize to your court and to Mr. Talmadge. I know how serious this is. Yeah. And um, I've been trying to get payments in on time this year and will continue to do so. Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. Anything further from you, Mr. Talmadge? Uh, no, sir. All right. Of course, going to find the court as jurisdiction. Of course, going to find based on the testimony of the parties that Miss Fight is behind in child support. And as of June the 30th of 2023, she owes Mr. Talmadge in the state of Texas the amount of $23,488.43. I'm going to order that to be paid back at a rate of $150 per month beginning August the 1st of 2023 and every month thereafter until the child emancipates. Ms. Fight will also be responsible for court costs, but I will give her until January the 31st of 2024 to pay my court costs. Ms. Simone, did the state of Texas hear all the terms and conditions of my court order? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Ms. Spite, Mr. Talmadge, what's going to happen now is the state's going to send me an order. As long as it matches what I said here, today, I'm going to sign it and get it back to them. And they're going to make a copy of it and send it to each of you. Mr. Talmadge, do you have any questions? No, sir. Ms. Spite, do you have any questions? Um, what would be the court cost? Just probably somewhere between a hundred and two hundred dollars. Good. Okay. When you get the order in the mail that's signed by Miss Fight by me, Miss Fight, somewhere in the back toward the back of that order, it'll have the information on how you can contact the Tyler County District Clerk's Office to get your court costs paid. Okay. Okay. Sounds that's good. That's why I gave you. That's why I gave you six months to pay them. That way you can get that worked out. Thank you so much. All right. You're both. Guys, look at that. No jail time. No driver's license being taken away. No passport being taken away. No, none of that, guys. Guys, let me know in the comments how you think this would have gone if the genders were swapped and it was a guy sitting there not having paid child support for seven years and owing $23,000. Guys, here we are in this red pill space, right? Man, it's red space. And people think we're crazy. They think that we're that we're like absolutely insane for like thinking the way that we think. And then you look at cases like like this, and it's undeniable, undeniable, the bias against men, right? The privileges that women have. It's crazy. It's absolute clown world. So, all right, you guys. This is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, and I am out of here. Have a good one, guys.